Hello, this is Ms. Carlson, and at the end of this tutorial, or by the end, you're going to know exactly how to format your papers or all writing assignments for me using MLA style. So just, just so you know, this is how I want you to turn things in anytime there's a writing assignment with me. Word document, we all have uh, Microsoft Office, with Word doc, and that's what we're gonna use this semester to streamline things. All right, so right away, when you open up your Word document, um, it's going to have, you know, document one or document three or whatever. Super important that you go in and change the name of your document right away. Um, so I usually just hit File, Save As, and this time I'm going to save it in my OneDrive, and I'm going to make this title, um, you, you want it to be uh, descriptive for your teacher. So let's say for this one, um, because it's British literature, um, I just happen to know it's 403A. You could write British literature there too if you wanted to. Um, I usually do an underscore just to separate um, the title, and then you want to do your last name first initial, underscore again. The name of the assignment, I think, is always kind of nice for your records and for, for my um, being able to identify your um, paper. So let's just call this um, MLA format um, assignment or something like that. Ah, all right. And then sometimes it's kind of nice to put like the month and the year or two, just so that you can keep that separate from other things. And then if I were you, um, I clicked on more options here. If I were you, I would make a British literature folder for yourself, um, which I have done here for this school year. And I'm going to save it there. So now you've got your title. You don't have to worry about, you know, not being able to find it later, right? You could just search ENG 403A and get anything that you've used this semester. All right, um, what I'm gonna do is just direct your attention to this um, font. So I have it set at Times New Roman 12, and that's what I want your writing assignments to be turned in. Um, that's the font I want you to use. So right now it might be, you know, Calibri or something, um, but for professional and academic documents, Times New Roman 12 is the one that I want you to use this semester. All right, um, next I want you to go to Insert, and we're going to click Insert Page Number, and we want it at the top of the page, and I want you to pick Plane Number 3, and you'll see a 1 popped in there. Awesome. Now I just um, put my cursor next to that one and I want you to add your last name and then oh, I don't want you to hit tab. I just want you to hit the space bar. And that's going to run throughout um, your assignment. All right. And um, at this point, I'm going to have you click close header and footer. Um, oh, I should point out one other thing. So in your header, I just double click there to get back there. I want that to also be Times New Roman 12. Um, I see students make that mistake quite a bit where their header is actually a different font. So um, double check to make sure that is also Times New Roman 12. All right, if I double click now back into the body, it gets rid of that header and footer. Here is where I want you to go up to where it says paragraph here and to the spacing area, and I want you to click 2.0. I also like to, oh, there we go, all right. Um, I don't even know what I was just gonna say. Oh, I know what it was. Under the line, I like to remove space after paragraph because I don't want too many spaces there. Also, I can go to indents and spacing, and I like it to do, um, I like to indent every first line of a paragraph. That way I don't have to hit tab every time I start a new paragraph. It'll do that for me. 
I'm also going to check my margins. So for my margins, I go to layout and margins. And it should default to normal, but if it isn't, go ahead and click normal. That puts a one inch margin all the way around. And that's what I want to see here. All right, now we can start typing our header. So you're going to put your first and last name. Oops, I just noticed I'm on indent. Sorry about that. Make sure that you're left aligned again for your um, header here. So left aligned right there. All right, so first and last name. Teacher name. Uh, class name. or you can put British literature there if you want to. And date, now date is a little bit different for um, MLA than some others. What you put first is the date, the entire spelling of the month, and then the year. Kind of weird, right? It takes a little getting used to. All right, now I'm gonna wanna put my title, so I'm gonna go ahead to go up here and center a line and um, let's call this MLA formatting assignment. Hit enter. It's going to still be center aligned. So go up here and do left alignment again. And this is where you start typing your introduction or what I, if it's a quick write you start entering your click right here. Um, notice that I didn't bold anything. I didn't use different size fonts. No, no, no. MLA formatting, no bolding of your title or your name or anything like that. All right, so this should at least set you up for success for your first writing assignment with Ms. Carlson. Um, and I can't wait to see your submissions. It should look something like this. I shouldn't say something like this. It should look exactly like this, but with your information. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day.